So I just had another coaching session with one of you guys today and actually I had two today with you guys and you guys I I shared this coaching session thing and I didn't realize it was going to be this amazing. So if you missed the last video where I launched the coaching, coaching session, a lot of people didn't see the Q&A, I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with you guys. And what does that mean? I've been on this channel for a long time and through that time I have learned so much about branding and marketing and strategy and content creation and how to build a YouTube channel and how to build an audience. So much so that I realize I should be sharing this with you guys and I get DMs and messages from people saying, how do I do this? I want to do what you're doing. How do I, how do I start? Or I have a YouTube channel, but I want more people to see it. Like give me tips and tricks. Or I'll have people that just say, I want to chat with you about life. And as a single mom, or I'm struggling right now, I just, I want some support or I just want a life coach. And I realize that this might be my calling you guys. Um, so anyway, all that to say, if you would like to book a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, head to the description box, book a session with me, you guys. In these sessions, we dive into everything from how to get followers on Instagram to life. I mean, it's like everything in between. And I love that I can hear what you're wanting and hear what your goals are, and then I can craft the right tools and tips and strategies for you because everyone is on a different level. I have some coaching clients who are just starting out or they, you know, are just starting their YouTube channel and their Instagram and all these things. And then I have people who are already well on their way in the journey and they just need some support. If you have already booked a coaching session with me, you've already had one and you're wanting more, I'm going to leave my email address for my coaching sessions in the description box. If you are like, hey, I booked a session with you. I want more. What else do I, I want to book another session. Reach out to me via email. Between now and the next few weeks, I'm going to try to also figure out how to set up maybe some sort of a community because other people have also said that they feel lonely creating content by themselves and they would love to have a community of other people that they can talk to and stay tuned. Thank you guys for trusting me with your time. Thank you for trusting me with your goals and your personal dreams and all the things that you share in these sessions. I take them to heart and it is like talking to friends. These, these sessions, it's like talking to best friends and I am so on board with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've laughed, I've cried in these sessions. They are wild. It is, I'm just like, I'm in awe of you guys. I'm in awe of you guys. Okay, I need to hurry and do this. Also, I'm putting my makeup on without my contacts in and I really can't even see anything right now, so, but that's always how I do it. I have a fun little assignment today. So something I love doing is highlighting local businesses. So sometimes a local business will reach out like a restaurant or I don't know, any, any spot. And they'll be like, hey, we'd love to invite you to come and you know try our new menu option and kind of like feature the, the place. And I love doing that. I love sharing places that I already go and recommendations. There's quite a few fun spots in my city and so I love when places reach out and they ask me to highlight them. And so yeah, today I'm heading to this place called Chicken and Pickle. It's such a cute place. You can eat and hang out and then of course you can play pickleball, thus the, the pickle name. Um, and so this is the outfit I'm wearing because you know me, I love a good little theme. So this is like my little pickleball outfit, although I'm terrible at pickleball, I've played like once or twice, and I'm absolutely horrific at it. I, when I was a kid, thought that I could be a professional tennis player. And so in middle school, I decided I was gonna take tennis lessons for an entire summer. An entire summer of tennis lessons, and my parents were really kind to allow that. Um, I'm realizing that they were probably extremely expensive. Am I even recording? Oh, I am, thank God. And I was terrible, you guys. Like I couldn't even get the ball over the net, even after the lessons. And the teacher was super nice, but he was like, you know, maybe tennis is not your sport. So vlogger rookie mistake. I was so busy getting the content at Chicken and Pickle that I didn't vlog any of it, but it was a good time. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because the reel will be up and you can see the content there. But yeah, it was really fun. And now I am getting some gas. Always forget that I have a Costco membership and that they have gas that's cheaper so i remember today and i'm so happy and if this person tries to cut me i swear are being salty today salty this week and salty this year i feel like everybody is just on it 
And normally I'm all about being positive and peaceful, but today I'm like, not today. If you try to cut in front of me today, I won't do anything about it, but I'll complain. No. I feel like I should pull forward. Why didn't she pull forward? Then there'd be room for two people. Why was she just pulled right there? That was dumb. Dang it. And this is where my procrastination comes to bite me because I need a new Costco card. And every time I go to Costco, I just go into the front desk instead of getting a new one. I'm just like, can I just get a pass today? I'll get a new one next time. Well, I thought this was my current Costco card, but this is my expired one from like 2013. So when I went to scan it to use it for gas, obviously it's not going to work. And I don't have time to go into Costco. So now I have to procrastinate again. Dang it. And I still need gas. And I was jazzed to get cheap gas. <laughs> This is my own fault. This is this is the reason why I really do want to work on my procrastination. I saw a quote today on Instagram that said that our procrastination is rooted in something usually. It's usually rooted in like fear of failure or it just gave a bunch of reasons. And for me, my root of procrastination is a lot of times fear of failure or I just run out of time, like my ADHD, where I'm like, I, I mean to get it done and then in the process of getting it done, there's like a complication and then I'm just like, I'll do it next time. Um, and then in my mind, I just keep saying next time. So now I gotta get gas and I gotta get a Costco card, a new one. And I said it really loud, hoping that maybe someone would like be nice and just like scan their card, but I guess no one does that because that's like illegal now, right? Costco doesn't let you do that, so. Dang it! This, this is a lesson to you. Stop procrastinating. Do not procrastinate. If you need a new Costco card, just get one today. Don't wait till you're at the gas pump ready to use it and then it's a fail. It feels like carbon hose. You know, like it has like a little... I love the little bin that you open. <laughs> I don't know why this is just so fun to me. The bun bin? <laughs> the bun bin. The bun bin. Are you even going to a movie if you don't sneak food and snacks in? I think not. That's with all the hot sauce options they have here. <laughs> Ghost pepper hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Do I dare put this on me? What if... Is that hot sauce? Yeah. I feel nice today. Ooh. Feels like rainbow. I'm trying to decide between hot tamales or these sour root things. I love these sour things. I think I'm going to get sour roots. Okay. Yes. <laughs> G8 and G9. Just a little bit late. I know it's a musical, but I'm just like, I feel like they did almost over musically. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Anyway, it was cute. The original is better. You need to go outside? <laughs> So it's kind of fun. Audrey gets out of school before the boys, so I get to pick her up and have a little time with her. And so I'm gonna make her a little after school snack. It's kind of like a deconstructed uh, bruschetta, 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 right? Not bruschetta, bruschetta. I think I learned that it's pronounced that way like last year. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fresh mozz, basil, and olive oil, salt and pepper in a bowl, and then I just serve it with some toast, so it's like a deconstructed bruschetta. Am I saying that right? Bruschetta. <laughs> pepper in a cool container. I need to put that in something. Yum! It's a delicious little topping. Mm. Toast. Little snacks like this. See? Just toast. Mm. And this is our afternoon <gasps> snack. Deconstructed brisket. Lila. Lila. 
What do you think? <laughs> I wish he answers me. So tonight, the kids and I are going to the most fun thing. We're going to a silent concert at a museum. This event is so fun. It's hosted by the Kemper Museum. It's an amazing museum here in Kansas City. They host these amazing concerts where you're immersed in the music while you're looking at art. So you put on the headphones and there's a live concert happening and you can literally hear the concert in your headphones and you walk around and look at the art. I took the kids to it last time and it was the most beautiful experience. Also, it doesn't hurt that my man happens to be playing piano, so I might be a little biased, but the music is beautiful and amazing. And tonight's performance is going to include Afghan music, so it's going to be such a cultured experience. I love taking the kids to things like this where it's like something that they can be immersed in music, but also it's like totally kid friendly and fun. So yeah, we're going to that tonight. Oh, I'm so you want to know how that goodness. um guy got here? How? So one time this whole thing was like a playground like right there that was a playground. how do you know this no. information for let him finish like speaking a playground for like these guys uh-huh but this guy he came over and he wanted to play oh wow. but oh you're was, talking about the sculptures but the guy didn't want to like but there was like this one kid who didn't want him to play mm -hmm. now all of his friends are gone is this a real story or an imaginary story and now he's right there sitting now oh dead. you're talking and about that been... the story of the the sculpture like that's what happened yeah. and that's why he's and sad he's been sitting there oh. for a while. volume right there okay. right uh-huh uh-huh thank you all set come on we appreciate in. you I have a channel to introduce you guys to. I want to do better at sharing our beautiful community. So Extreme Beauty Factor. She is a lifestyle vlog channel. She does beauty, all the things. I would love for you guys to give her a follow. I will leave her channel name in the description box. She is a beautiful creator. And I love this community because I know that we are all encouragers and we all want to support. And I know that if I share someone on the channel, you guys will go support. So be sure to check out her videos. Show her some love. And yeah, now I need to, I need to freaking edit this vlog and put it up so you guys can watch it.